Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. What's up, guys? All right, guys, I know you guys just seen the specs, but I'm gonna just say this really quick. This is 8.2 inches. This one is 7.4 inches, or 7.5, and this is 7.6. Okay, and then this one is a 3.6 inch blade. This one is a three and a quarter, and then this one's 3.4. All right, since these are made by Riat, we are going to start off with a Riat knife. This is the K3 by Riat. What you see is, uh, you know, a little bit longer. A lot of bit longer. A lot of bit longer. And then next up, we are going to do the Griptilian by Benchmade, Benchmade Griptilian. That is the large one. I'm trying and to line these up bottom to bottom here. Forgive my... Uh... I'm not perfect here. And then since um, we're doing the Griptilian, might as well do the Griptilian, the mini Griptilian by Benchmade. And a lot of people know this knife also. This is the Sabenza 21. And then since we have the Sabenza 21 in there, might as well do the Small Sabenza 21 the baby with the bands. Insingo blade. And then the Ontario Rat 1. A lot of people know these knives, that's why we're using them. And we have three different knives here, so we're trying to do quite a bit of size comparisons. Yeah, tell us if you guys like this system of us kind of working them over, if it's just not... I don't know. And also, let us know if you guys like our new background. This? And then one more since this? we do... Yes. This is legit the same exact one we already yeah, had. Yeah, but the other one looked like crap. This is new. Oh. Okay, and then everybody knows that since we did the Rat 1, here's the Rat 2. So this is the Ontario Rat 1. That's the Ontario Rat 2. And that's all for the size comparisons. But gives you guys a good idea between big and large knives. All right, let's get to the damn show. Let's do it. All right, guys, I can't stress enough on saying go check out Long Island Knife we Guy. We can't stress enough. Um, what a great guy. He's been a great friend to us, and we really appreciate him sending us these knives. Go check him out. He is such a good guy, such a good friend to us, and such a great guy in the community. Yes, he is. All right, first off, we're going to start off with this one because this one is the most different, and the other one's... Um, are very comparable. So I'm going to start off with this one. This one is <clears throat> a flipper only, unlike the other two. The action is amazing. This flipper tab has no jimping on it, but it's very easy to flip. You can light switch it. You can push, you can push button it. It's more in, ooh, I don't know if I'm in there. All right. It's more better to light switch it. More better. More better. But you can push button it. Now, this knife with the drop is very, very nice, as nice you can see. Yeah. And then I want you guys to listen to this detent. It's very clicky. Ooh. I love it. I love that detent. The detent is, it's strong, but in a good way, and you absolutely get no fatigue from playing with None. this knife. The, the lock bar is chamfered all the way around, so it's very comfortable to disengage and to open back up. The stop pins on all these are actually right next to the, um, the pivot. So if you look right here, you will see that. See where the lock bar is? It's pushed up right next to the pivot. These are T8s all the way around. And this side has some hidden screws because these screws do go all the way through. So these ones don't. These ones, because this, um, 
you know, it's right in the center, so this one's holding on to the micarta, which is very nice micarta, I might say. But um, on the other ones, everything, I'll show you how the screws do go all the way through, like you see right there. That's a screw that's hidden from this side, but it goes all the way through to the other side. Now, the, um, the one problem with this knife is, put it on there, is this clip. The clip, you're gonna see what hangs out of the pocket here. <clears throat> it's very awkward looking. Um, it's got all that, that's what it looks like in your pocket. Your skull transforms into like a large forehead skull. It looks like a cone head. It does, I mean. Very beautiful clip though. I do yeah, like these clips. I yeah, like the way they look, but, um, but this it, one. It looks silly in the pocket. Like when you actually had it in your pocket, yeah, the I couple know. times you carried it, I thought it looked hilarious. Um, it, it kind of loses its badassery. Yeah, it's good tension though. <laughs> Very good tension. Yeah, it's a good clip. It's good at functioning, but not to mention when you when you have this um, cone head part sticking out, it it like if you're bending over and stuff like that, it stabs back into your leg a little bit, which isn't the greatest. So um, it's a well designed clip on its own, but as far as the overall functionality, I would say it needs a little work. Yeah, working in and out of the pocket works very well, but right. as for that much hanging on your pocket, yeah. Okay, so now the grip on this thing, which is gonna be also very different from the other ones. The problem with it is, is this clip again. These, This is very sharp all the way around. You notice this clip is very different from this clip, which is rounded. Yeah, this is. one has these little points and when it's in your palm it literally this part right here stabs directly into yep. your palm and you can feel it big time so this one's not the most comfortable in hand i mean it is a smaller knife i mean actually for some people this could be a large knife but it's not a very very large knife and for the handles they would be super comfortable if not for this massive clip i love the clip love the way it looks a lot of people don't I disagree i do love the clip but this one just in the hand you know it's sharp so um now right here some i've heard some people complain about this right here you don't feel that in your hand like even when you're squeezing it as hard as you want it still feels very comfortable so you really don't feel it unless if you're actually trying to rub it um in the hand this is the other thing is that i have a big hand so this might not be for everybody Flipping, flicking it right here, th this, these edges are sharp. Even though they're squared off, they're a little sharp and you feel it digging in your hand when you try to flip it like this. This little tips right there are poking in your hand when you go like that. Mm -hmm. So that's another small thing. These are very minor complaints. This doesn't take yeah. anything away from me loving this knife. Mm -hmm. This is a very useful blade shape. It works out in the hand very well. And this is the way I would most likely be using it. I wouldn't be really bearing down like that, even though I could if I wanted to. I'd be using it more like this for draw cuts, you know, using that tip. And then when I have to, I'd be using, you know, doing some slicing. But this knife overall is very good. I love the T8s all the way around. This is about 20 thousandths behind the edge, so it is a little bit thicker. I think it's actually like a little bit like 20, 22 thousandths. So it's not gonna be the best slicer because it's a pretty thick blade stack, pretty thick it's behind good, the edge. It's a good like go to work, slice up some cardboard. I think it's good enough for anything yes. like that. It's good for EDC, very yeah. good for EDC, but it's not gonna be your your great slicer of the year. It's very good for, you know, the tip. The tip works very well. Very, very sharp tip. As you can see, it's got a very good tip on it but that's where it shines is using the tip. Now I did put an edge on this one, but it lost, it was very crispy when I first did it. And it's, it lost it very quickly. I noticed I only used it a couple times and it lost that crispiness very, very quickly. So this is something I would like to put a couple more edges on. I'm not going to, cause it's not my knife, but I would imagine that after a couple more edges that it would keep that crispiness um, a lot longer than mm -hmm. it did. I think it's just because it was like the first edge that was put on it. Um, but I'm not going to do it again. It did sharpen up very nicely and it is good S35. But like I said, I just think that it needs, you know, because after you put a couple edges on, it tends to get to better steel. And when you get to better steel, it holds it a lot better and stays more crispy. Now, um, other than that, I think that's about it with this one. I might bring it up at the end just to compare it at the very end, but I might not too. So 
All right, baby, check it out in your hand. It was pretty good in my hand. Um, I don't like the overall length of the scale, this extra thing. It just kind of has something that makes it stick out of a smaller hand. Does that poke you right there at all? What? Small right there. Head? I just heard other people saying that right there kind of. Oh, where the lock bar sinks Yeah, and it doesn't bother out. me at all. Uh, no. Right, it doesn't. No. You have to try, If you right? had, and I'm not, if you had, like, maybe a larger finger, I could see, like, if you had, it didn't like, for a mine, skin. Though. No, I just mean, like, Fat. fatter, okay. <laughs> to be honest. Maybe, like, your skin might dig in like that. Um, one thing I will say, though, just that you didn't point out that I wanted to. Yeah, yeah please. Was that um, if you look at the... Um, the way it's ground up here instead of being like a worn cliff that's perfectly smooth it has like oh, yeah. a point and a point and it comes down like this and i really two like different that. angles yeah yeah I, I really like that it's so unique and it gives it a harder look instead of just like Meow. yeah it makes it look more tougher it does and yeah, i love that for so sure. i mean other than that you really covered everything else yeah. and that my card is super nice i know you said that but all right now let's go to the next okay. one bang i mean bang <laughs> uh really quick before we get into this guy i just want to go over uh you can see so then... oh sorry yeah. um yeah no. i don't want distraction um, there so big um anyway so <laughs> in a, uh, it's uh this was done by phonetic edge this isn't how these come so i just want to go over really quick what is different he did all of the anodization across this side this is like a very nice brushed finish same thing with, along the clip uh, the lock bar still has more of a matte kind of anodization sort of finish going on. And then if you come to this side, the holes were added along with another brushed anodization finish on the titanium. And then if you look inside of these holes, you can see there's like a polished blue anodization. Very, very nice. Yeah. It's, sharp. Oh, it's beautiful. And then somebody actually thought this was a custom and it's not. It's not the custom, yeah. which is why it's so nice looking. And then if you look, my stupid ring, I'm sorry. Let's take it off. Um, if you, I want a second. If you look over here you can see that they actually added a, like a Timascus, not like, it is a Timascus. Hold up nice and close so they can really Timascus see Timascus backspacer. It's beautiful. And there's a lot of red in it, which is always really, really, really cool. So other than that though, this is the standard like shape and model. It's just all those colors and the little, you know, swag was added on there. Okay, now th this one is a lot more comfortable in the hand now. You see, I have a pretty decent size hand. Um, I think my hand's like uh, seven and a quarter, seven inches or something like that. It's a little over seven inches. Anyways, um, very nice in the hand. You the clip, you still feel it because you know it does have those edges, but not like not like the other one. So this one's a lot more comfortable. This one has the sharp jimping on the back right here. Now these are very sharp. Um, I would imagine they're pretty good with a glove, but with bare hands, you're not really going to want to use it like that. You can lightly, but not for a lot of use. Um, the the screws are T8 all the way around. All of them are like that. And the thumb studs have the... Um, Threads. The threads, yeah. Thank Looks you, like baby. an exposed screw. Yes. That's very nicely done. It's kind of like on cold steels. Cold steel does that a little bit, but it's very nice and it's Can works. I show this one to you? Since yeah, yeah, go ahead. So the uh the other the Ultramar 229 also has the um the threaded screw thumb studs. It's just that um these are a little bigger, and we're gonna go back and forth a couple times because there's a lot of similarities between these two. Yes. It's just this one is basically a little bigger. Yeah, basically that's the big difference. Is yeah. It's just bigger. It's just bigger. So we'll we'll kind of be doing these more at the same time. And actually, while I'm at it, let me just Edge, show yeah. you um that Fanatic Edge also had uh, customized this one as well. You see, there's like a textured diamond pattern. Um, yeah, diamond pattern with like a bronze. And that's titanium. Yeah, it's all titanium. It's a bronze anodization going across here. The backspacer on this one is just regular the titanium. Yeah. And then if you come over here, the clip has this like grinded uh, yes. pattern going into it with more anodization. It is textured. Um, and then if you look at those thumb studs we were just talking about, there is a bronzed look to those as well. Okay. And um, so other than that, these two, if they came stock, from the factory you could get either finish you could get the same finish as that's on this one with the micarta mm -hmm. or you can get just bare titanium which wouldn't have these colors or these holes it would just be raw titanium or they also come in g10 so let me say i think it's just one side yeah this side g10 and then this side would just be titanium i can put up a picture if you want okay so all right 
So this thing, the thumb studs works amazing. It literally yeah, really bites your thumb, it bites your thumb mm -hmm. and flips right out. And with this one, it, it kind of flips a little bit like the SOCOM, but if you've never flipped it, basically what you do is once you put your thumb up to it, all you really gotta do is just lift it like that. Once you lift it like that, it just mm -hmm. flies out. So you don't have to like go like schnoop like that or anything like mm -hmm. that, just barely a little tilt. You don't tilt. have to do any of the work really. A little you just bit have of to pressure. get that initial pressure. Yep. And that's something that's very different. That's one huge difference between the two of these is the action. Now, Jared and Lou from Long Island Knife Guy both told me that um, the lock bar on this one had been messed with because there was such a tight detent initially that they couldn't um, really flip it. So it was bent a small amount, which makes this one now extremely free flying. So the action between these two is different with our examples, but I don't know that it would be if you got them. Well, we'll, we'll get to in. that action on that one in just one second because that a lot of them came just like this one yeah so more of them came like this one and this one was very tight a very strong detent now it's starting to lighten up but i could see why somebody would want to yeah. do what they did to that one by week by just I think barely barely like if you took it apart and you just barely put and you'd have to take out the over travel stop and everything mm -hmm. else i'm not saying to do this i'm saying that this is what was done and then push the lock bar over just a tiny tiny bit because that little tiny bit would mean everything because this thing's breaking in without it being done to it this yeah. one nothing was done to it it's just the way it came you know or how tight or how strong the detent was right from the factory i can middle finger flick it so that says a lot and it's actually pretty easy now when i first got it yeah it wasn't as easy you could, so. but it was really hard yeah exactly but my point was just i wanted to make sure that you guys know when you're watching the action throughout this video that this one was uh quote unquote tampered with so it it may not be like that if you just go buy one okay now the drop on this thing you see it's very very i'm oh, sorry i was out of screen was <laughs> is very very smooth with the slightest bit of shake it's like a, it's almost like hydraulic like it is very nice and then the detent just sucks it right in all right you'll notice while it's open the blade goes past right here and you'll see this where they knock this part out on the back of the scales they did not knock it out on the blade i don't know why knock they did that what? because you see how they have the spot right here with the jimping mm -hmm. jimping jimping and then there's jimping on the back of the handle but, not on the, but not on the tang of the blade so i don't know why they did that decided weird. to do that so they it does on this yeah they did on both of them they left this one too so. yeah so both like you said this one's just a bigger version yeah. of this one and also <clears throat> the um the lock bar on this very easy to disengage because it's so big and chamfered it's very easy to disengage and it feels very comfortable um you can you get a little bit of fatigue with the detent because it's so strong and these sharp thumb studs but you know i have very tough thumbs so it doesn't bother me yeah, too bad but i but you know i would get after a while of doing that back and forth it would start to bother me all right now the bigger one switch now this one is my favorite one you see like she said when you release this lock bar watch out what? that blade is coming down watch us see how that thing just free drops now that being said a lot of people had this problem with this knife the the uh pivot screw which it does have the pivot or the uh the torques on both sides does come loose so i'm going to all I have to do is literally flip it a few times and this thing comes loose. It will literally loosen itself all the way out. So it's something you gotta be careful with. Now I heard of people taking, now I see I got a little bit tighter. I heard about people throwing Loctite into the pivot and it's still working its way out. So that's something to know and think about. I did not put any Loctite in this one. I'm going to, when I send it out back to Lou, or you know wherever it's going because then it'll have a couple days because after you put loctite in <clears throat> you want to let it sit for a couple days without messing with it i wanted to keep playing with it so anyways you see when i tighten it up though i can get it and it stays centered and there's no blade play even when it loosens up that tiny bit and it's very drop drop shutty now you'll notice it's not as drop shut. You see that? Now I have to kind of do the shake. And now it's a lot more like the little one. Yeah. So it has the action just like the little one now, just with a little bit lighter detent. 
but you'll notice it's it will um, free up literally after just a few flips it will be back to dropping straight down so it literally before we end this video it'll definitely be yeah, pulled back sure. out so that's something to think about that you know and like I said a lot of people were saying that about theirs about the um the pivot unloosening other than that the clip now this one is the most comfortable in the hand it's a little more rounded the yes. clip, and i want to know is that again. because of fanatic edge or is that no 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 th I, that's the way this one comes the oh, 229 comes with a rounded clip and that's the same way if you look at the custom versions the custom versions come with the one like this with the rounded one so they did more of like the custom one with this one where it's rounded down here instead of pokey. So that one makes it so it's a lot more comfortable so much more in the hand. And yeah, it makes it feel so much better. Now getting to the blade, this blade is super thin. Like this is less than 10 thousandths behind the edge. When I, at least when I measured it with my calipers, I think it was like eight thousandths behind the edge. Super, super thin. Now when I come up here, this is about 20 thousandths behind the edge up here. And so you see, you know, like the combo grinds, um so hollow. yeah it uh is very very nice the tip it's got a nice reinforced tip on it which works very good for piercing so you got the the tanto right there the rounded part the japanese tanto for doing roll cuts you can do push cuts with very thin, which, I mean it literally rips through material yeah. even though Hold it does them. get to pretty thick you see the, the actual stock thickness is pretty thick. Let me, here's a Griptilian, if it'll, no, you're good. there we go. Okay, you see how much thicker it is than the Griptilian. Let's throw the Sebenza up here. See the thickness compared to the Sebenza? A lot thicker. It's a very thick blade stock, but yeah. these grinds are just done so well. Like this is like yeah. the best grinding work I've ever seen. Like next to, uh, next to that custom SOCOM. Like that's about the, the only one. That was a custom. These are very, very thin behind the edge. Very yeah. good, very usable. And the action on this thing is amazing. Like I said, I did loosen up the lock bar. So this thing will be free dropping very soon. Um, the one thing I noticed between the customs and these is the key right here has words and it says USA. And there's different words depending on which custom you get. And then also inside by the backspacer, there's a number usually on the inside of there on the backspacer. So these ones don't have that because these are not the customs. And these are production done by React. So React did a very good job on these. These things are very nice. They feel very good in the hand. And the, like I said, back to the grind work a little bit. This uh, sharpening trail is done very, very so these well. These are a little bit different. You see this one, I know this is a bigger knife, but this one is a lot smaller compared because, to the size. Yeah, because it's bigger. This so. one I could practically use as a finger trail, although I don't think most people can. I can't, I can't, I can put my finger in there, but not really. I mean, it's so sharp and so thin behind the edge, I wouldn't want to. Yeah. But yeah, it's, um, you know, once you put it in your hand, show it in your hand. So no. this is one of those uh, big knives that I think would work well for somebody who has like Napoleon syndrome like me, oh, yeah. where uh, you have small hands but want a big knife. And it doesn't look ridiculously big, but it still fits my hand honestly like a glove. The way that the jimping is positioned and comes all the way back to here, it's really great for somebody like me because if I want to hold a little further back, I can and I can feel secure no matter where I go, which is great. So if you've got someone who wants a big knife, but maybe doesn't have the biggest hands, this one, it really is kind of a one size fits all. It's, it's very comfortable. It's rounded, chamfered everywhere along the edges. Nothing is sharp. You don't get that your meat of your hand getting all cut up in, in like the open back like this. It's all really, really comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah, so the one it really works for everybody. The one complaint I will have, and it's not a big complaint. It's not even that big of a deal. I know you guys hear me say this a little bit. You see how the, the stop pin is really close to the pivot. That's not the complaint. I wish the stop pin was just a little bit bigger. This <laughs> is a hard use knife. This is a very heavy blade, yeah. and that is kind of a small stop pin. But I don't think it's too small. I don't think it hurts this thing at all. I just feel like it would make me feel a lot better about it being a very hard use knife if it was just a little bit bigger. Other than that, I mean, this thing, these things are just gorgeous. They look so good and they're so well built. The screws, the hardware is done so well. Um, you know, like I said, they do go all the way through to the other side. That's why you don't see them too much on the other side. If you look under the clip, you will see where the other one does come through. 
it just comes through though like as in you see it like like this one it's not like it has a head on it or nothing it's just the end of the screw but yeah these things the action is just amazing and i'm surprised it oh there it goes it loosened up pretty quickly. You see that how fast that mm -hmm. screw came out? Now it's just free dropping, right back to free dropping. And it's just gonna get looser and looser as it goes. So yeah, like I said, a little bit of Loctite, hopefully that fixes that. Like I said, other people were saying that Loctite wasn't fixing that, but you know, that could have been just theirs. Yeah, guys, these knives are amazing. Thanks, Lou, for letting us check these out, Thanks, especially Lou. all three. We really appreciate being able to handle all three of these. And yeah, I mean, this thing is, this is like the best knife of 2019 and absolutely love it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Button. Hit the button. Hey, don't tell me what.